Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today we'll be answering the question, what is mastering for jazz music? We'll be looking into the types of processing you should avoid when mastering jazz, so stick around for the full video. But first, if this is a topic you find interesting, I'd highly recommend looking into the blog post that's associated with this video. In it, you'll find a lot more information on this topic, so simply scroll down to the description box below for a link. Also, if you're an artist, engineer, or producer, and you have a mix that you need mastered, you can send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. All you have to do is set up this short account, upload this song, and we will do the rest. So, what is mastering for jazz music? Mastering jazz music involves a unique mastering process in which the typical processing used is scaled down in favor of preserving the natural sound of the original recording. The key aspects of mastering jazz is preserving transience and maintaining a balanced frequency spectrum. Now, typically speaking, mastering includes controlling the dynamics of a mix so that it can be made louder and in turn compete with other tracks being released. It also includes adding harmonic distortion and doing a fair amount of equalization to make certain elements stand out. But in jazz, the intention is different. What jazz musicians and listeners of jazz want is to hear a recording that makes them feel as if they were in the room with the performers. In other words, the recording shouldn't sound unrealistic or hyped up in any way. So how do we avoid making a master sound hyped and uh, retain what makes it sound natural? Well, first, let's look at how to apply compression when mastering jazz music. Now, typically, compression is used for the sake of pushing a signal into a greater loudness without causing clipping distortion. However, because this loudness doesn't need to be achieved when mastering a jazz record, using a compressor will most likely not be needed. But if you do need to use compression during a jazz mastering session, there are certain settings that will ensure you maintain both transients and dynamics while keeping compression to an absolute minimum. So, Let's look at how to do this step by step. Step one, use a multi-band compressor to ensure that you're only compressing where needed. Step two, check to see which band is exhibiting the excessively loud passage or dynamic. Step three, on that band and that band only, set a threshold of greater than uh, one to one, but no greater than three to one, and lower the threshold while observing your gain reduction meter. The gain should only be reduced during that one particularly loud dynamic, and at no other point. Step four, with that section in mind, increase the band's attack time and decrease its release time. Now, ideally, the loud portion in question is reduced quickly and in a manner that doesn't add any coloration or noticeable change other than the gain reduction. If you follow these steps, you should be able to accomplish compression that only compresses the section you want to compress and doesn't add any noticeable or audible change to the song other than the amplitude attenuation. Next, Let's talk about distortion. Now, your initial reaction to distortion when it comes to mastering jazz music would be to not use it at all. However, a little bit of distortion in the form of harmonic generation can pleasantly accent certain elements of the instrumentation and, if present, the vocal. Now, granted, adding these harmonics will need to be done in a subtle way, otherwise they may make the master sound too present and artificially processed. Again, adding a fair amount of harmonic distortion can work well in rock, pop or other genres in which a loud and forthright sound is expected, but in the more subtle and nuanced genre of jazz, they don't add to, but kind of detract from the listening experience. Lastly, let's discuss equalization as it relates to mastering jazz music. When applying equalization during a jazz mastering session, you want to balance the frequency spectrum, but not so much that it becomes noticeable. When applying equalization to a jazz master, be sure to use it sparingly, even uh, more so than you would during a regular mastering session. Now granted, when mastering, you never want to add equalization in the same way you might during mixing. In mixing, it's easier to get away with making drastic changes to the frequency spectrum of an instrument, but when mastering, even small changes can make a big difference. This is especially true when mastering jazz music, as the primary intention of a jazz recording is to capture and retain the original sound and feel of the performance. Excessive equalization will do the opposite, as it emphasizes instruments and instrument groups that were not intended to be emphasized. So, all in all, when mastering jazz music, it's safe to say that less is more, and that you should always avoid excessive processing, whether it's compression, distortion, or equalization. But, what do you think? Has this video been helpful? If so, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, again, 
Definitely check out the blog post where you can find even more information on mastering jazz music. Follow the link in the description to find that. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer, send us one of your mixes at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. All you have to do is set up this super easy to create account, upload the song, and we will do the rest. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date on all of our latest releases. There's a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video or a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.